Howdy doody guys! Today we're talking about measuring in millimeters. Really, really, really tiny little measurements. The abbreviation is two little m's right next to each other. Your learning objectives. I can measure to the nearest half and whole centimeter. I can measure to the nearest millimeter. I can convert or change between millimeters and centimeters. First things first. Mr. Nutty loves candy canes. I don't know if you knew that or not. And a squirrel is always looking for the longest candy cane that he can eat because he likes sugar. Who doesn't? So Mr. Nutty wants to know which candy cane to eat. Should he eat A or B? Well, so the first thing we're going to do is measure this. And I have a centimeter ruler down below here marked with centimeters. There's even half centimeters in below or in between the lines. And I even drew the lines at the ends of the candy canes to make measuring from tip to tip easier. So let's go ahead and take a look at candy cane A. Uh, looks like candy cane A is a little bit more than 8. So we're just going to write a little bit more than 8. This means greater than 8, just so you know. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at candy cane B. Uh, not exact, but looks to be uh, a little bit less than 8. This is going to be my less than sign. It looks like it's eating the bigger number, so it's less than. All right. So the question, he wants to know the difference in length between the two, so he knows for sure he's getting the longest candy cane. Well, what can you tell him? We don't really know. See, this ruler, this centimeter ruler, is not precise or accurate enough. We need a ruler that's going to be divided into smaller pieces so that we can accurately or precisely get the measurement without having to estimate. All right, so, aha, enter the millimeter ruler to save the day for Mr. Nutty's candy canes. Here's something cool about millimeter, if you didn't know this. Milli means 1,000, and meter the suffix, milli is the prefix, meter is the suffix. Meter means a length for measuring. You can remember millimeter by thinking 1,000 millimeters in one meter. Tiny little guys. And something else really cool is that there are 10 of these little millimeters in one centimeter. You heard me right, 10 millimeters in one centimeter. I have a bridge map down below to help you remember this. You can write this down. There's 10 millimeters in one centimeter, just like there are 1,000 millimeters in one meter. Pretty cool stuff, huh? Whew, and a lot of millimeters. All right, Mr. Nutty, so which is longer, candy cane A or candy cane B? I have a millimeter ruler down below here. You can see I have these really big numbers all of a sudden, but remember, millimeters are really, 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 really small. And let's go ahead and line up our zero with the line there. And it looks to me that our candy cane A is 84 millimeters. Remember before I said it was a little bit more than 8 centimeters. So now we have 84 millimeters. Let's check candy cane B. Before I said it was less than 8 centimeters. And on here it's measuring at, let's say... 78 millimeters. All right, so Mr. Nutty, we can now answer your question, and you wanted to know what candy cane was longer, and it would be A. We now have a more precise ruler. It's more accurate. And Mr. Nutty would definitely choose A because it's a whole whopping six millimeters longer. So that's pretty cool that he can choose A now. Out there, we do have some rulers that are specially made to show centimeters and millimeters. Here's one that we'll be using in class. It has centimeters on the top, millimeters on the bottom, and it's so cool. I love this because you can keep track of those conversions as we go. If you measure one centimeter, you can automatically see on the other side that it's 10 millimeters. If you measure eight and a half centimeters, you can see it's automatically 85 millimeters. So we'll be using those in class. Always remember, always remember, always remember, check the measurement that you are using to make sure you are using the correct 
decide. That's a note from management. I want to take a look at this sheet on here and we're going to look at line segment AB and then line segment CD. The directions say measure each line segment below using both the millimeter side and the centimeter side of our centimeter slash millimeter ruler and we're going to record both measurements. Let's grab our millimeter ruler which is down here it says mm for millimeter and I'm going to bring it on up to line segment AB line up the edge and I'm going to read to where point B is and it's 125 millimeters so I'm going to go ahead and write that down 125 millimeters and now we're going to grab our centimeter ruler and measure it as well same line segment AB line it up with the A take my measurement and it's 12 and a half centimeters hmm, all right interesting I have the same numbers, only a decimal point with centimeters. Well, let's try the next one. How about that? Let's look at line segment CD. Measure it in millimeters first. Grab my millimeter ruler. Looks to be about 63 millimeters. So I'm wondering if it's 63 millimeters, I'm guessing it's going to be about 6.3 centimeters or 6 and 3 tenths of a centimeter. Let's find out. By golly, we are correct. Hmm, very interesting. Do you see a pattern here? It's almost like we're taking the millimeters. If I were to type that into my calculator and divide it by 10, we're getting our centimeters. Remember, they're 10 millimeters and one centimeter. So if we wanted to do some conversions, all we would have to do is, well, one, we could use our ruler. We could also use our calculator or we could remember that, once again, it's just the base 10 block system, all right? Let's try the first one. One centimeter is equal to how many millimeters? Well, I have my bridge map down below, which reminds me that one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. I could also look on my centimeter millimeter ruler and see that one centimeter is the same as 10 millimeters. Let's try another one. If I had 40 centimeters, how many millimeters would that be? There's a couple ways that I could do that. I'm on this one, by the way. I could look at my ruler if I had 40 centimeters and follow it down to, to the millimeters, but I don't have that. But I could do this. I do see that I have one centimeter is 10 millimeters, and I want to go to 40 centimeters. So if I could just multiply times 40, I would get 400. Remember, there's 10 millimeters and one centimeter. So if I multiply that by 40, I would get my answer, and it would be 400 millimeters. Oops, sorry about that. We can also go from millimeters to centimeters. Let's go to the one down below. If I had 130 millimeters, how many centimeters would that be? Well, on my ruler, I don't have, oh, actually I do, I take that back. Lucky me. I was going to say I don't have 130 millimeters, but I do. And it's right here. For some reason, my computer wants to copy instead of draw. There we go. So I could look up and see that it's 13 centimeters or I can also notice that I've chopped off that zero because I've divided by 10. Remember that there's 10 millimeters in one centimeter so to go from millimeters to centimeters I can just divide by 10. Let's try one more. If I had 45 millimeters, how many centimeters would that be? Well, if we go down below and find 45 millimeters, which would be right here, and look up, it would be four and a half centimeters. I could also divide 45 by 10 
so I could convert to centimeters. So centimeters to millimeters, you can multiply times 10. Millimeters to centimeters, you want to divide by 10. In class, you're going to be measuring some invertebrates, which are animals that don't have backbones. And so you're going to be using your millimeter and centimeter ruler to convert between millimeters and centimeters, and also take a look at some real-life invertebrates. See you later.